All right, so the new banner is up with Ying Zhou. And, well, this is kind of a tricky situation. For me, it's an easy pass because she does not fill any roles for me in particular. Now, I am a packer, so I do buy the battle pass and I do buy the monthly pass, so I do get and have more currencies than a complete free-to-play player. That means I get access to more characters and more functors, but I don't get access to every single character and every single functor. So I have to decide beforehand which and which characters I do roll for and which characters I have to skip. Now, we look at the banner here, and you know what? She's not a bad character. From what I've played, or what I've tested, she's not a she's not a bad character. The problem is though for me, she's not really to my playstyle. And one of the reasons why she's not to my playstyle is because she doesn't have zero time. I love melee characters with zero time. And when a melee character does not have zero time to me, they they don't play very well. Zero time allows me to be a little more strategic, right? Because it opens up the enemy for a nice beatdown in those few seconds. So that is a big deal for me. And when I have a character, especially melee without zero time, I am like, yeah, I don't know about this. And while she performs well, she doesn't have that zero time. So you're gonna always be in a real time unless your other characters that you have have zero time, which put you in there, that also removed the ability for you to use the warp what boosts your damage in zero time. So for me, I will have to skip her because she doesn't fit the roles, nor do I have a role for her to fit in right now. However, if you do have Lu Young, right? And you really like her, I would say, yeah, go for it, because by no means is her damage bad. By no means is she a bad character, right? It's just for me in particular, she doesn't really fit any role, and I don't have Lu Liang, so that's also another thing. So, if you have Lu Liang, you'll be getting that ultimate chain. Two, they're from the same faction, so they're gonna help to fulfill that faction bonus, and faction bonus are quite a big thing. They can really increase that damage you do, so. That's something to keep in mind. Now, if you're a completely new player and you want to roll for a character, well, it's this is easy. If you're completely new characters, you won't have access to Jin Wu. You would have missed the event and you wouldn't have gotten a copy of her. As, as far as I know. I'm, I, I'm really unsure if there's other means to get that free copy, but let's just say if you don't have a copy of her then if you have to choose between these two banners this is an easy one because i 100 percent recommend you to roll for jin Wu if it's possible if you get very lucky then you probably want to roll for her too and if you have <laughs> lu liang then you would have a full team the good news with jin Wu being on just the standard banner is that you can get her fragments from the shop which means it wouldn't be a big deal for you to get her to double s and for her double s is actually a very very big upgrade the next thing is if you want to choose you might want to choose to roll for jin Wu and roll for the founder jin Wu will bring you to places she will bring you very far in the current meta of the game as while she says she's a melee she is actually a rage. You press skill three, you take flight, and well, you spam skill one and two to the win. It's really, really, really simple, right? And she does fantastic character. Currently for me, she is, is my prime character. Everything I do, unless I need to be specific, if I actually want to be on element, right? then I will use a different team, but every medial task or anything like that I have in the game, she's what I use because she's just so easy to use and she does so much damage. It's hard to pass up, right? Warps are simple, easy to understand. 
just a really incredible character. So if you're completely new and you need to choose, a choice is easy, is to choose Jin Woo. If you get very lucky, she can roll for both of them. And if you have a little young, you probably want to choose Young Zhou over Jin Wu because of that faction bonus and that chain ultimate. That is a thing, but remember, you can always bring other characters to fulfill different roles, right? To get buffs or stuff like that, right? Without worrying about, but those are things to consider when you're gonna roll. Now, I'm not done about this banner. This is just the beginning and we're gonna actually have to go over to CN and have another look and talk about a couple more things. So I'll see you there. All right, welcome to part two, which I will call the elephant in the room. So I have to talk about these two characters because they are very, very, very close to Ying Shou's banner. And if you're a new player or a free-to-play player, you might and might not know this information. It is best that you know this information because they are very close to Ying Zhou's banner. And if you are a complete free-to-play, you do not get enough rolls to be unlucky and get all these characters. So let's start. So the first one, which should be the second banner. So after Ding Zhou, there should be a banner in between and then you're gonna have her. So yeah, she is the banner after the next, at least she should be. We're not 100% sure, but should be. This is Mitsuha. And Mitsuha is special because she ultimate chain with, that's right, Izanami. And she is also the Sakura faction. And as I mentioned in the first half of this, is that having faction members is a big plus for you. Having an entire team of the same faction member is a very big plus, but that's not really a big thing. That's not really the big deal about her. The big deal about her is that she is the only character that ultimate change with Izanami. And Izanami is an absolute monster. She is meta. Sure, in raw damage right now, she's been a bit creeped. And we're gonna get to that, but on Inception, she will be the best character in the game, bar none. She does an incredible amount of freeze, and we do understand what freeze does. Freeze, freeze the enemy, allowing you to kind of just, just roll your, just roll your face on your keys, and roll your fingers on your buttons, right? The enemy's frozen, you beat them down. She puts out an incredible amount of freezes. Two, she doesn't particularly have a burst window. She does a consistent amount of damage. And this consistent amount of damage is incredibly high damage. The reason for this is that while a lot of characters can be either normal attack focus, ultimate focus, or skill focus, she is essentially all of them in one package. So when you're not using her skill, you don't use her ultimate, you're gonna be normal attacking. The thing is, her mechanics allow her to put out an incredible amount of damage from her normal. It's she is something to see. You probably can check some of my videos of her, me using her and see the thing that she can do. So there is no need for me to really show you gameplay. You can just go back and look at my catalog and you will see what she can do. But she is an incredible character and she's not a character that you skip. She's not a skip character. Sure, if you don't like her and you know, people have their preferences. You just don't like her design. You just don't like something about her. 
and you are repulsed by her, right? So you don't want to roll for her. That is perfectly fine. But if you're playing the game, she is a character you do want, especially that you at least need one carry for each alignment. So you need a electric alignment for thunder damage. You need a ice, you need a water, you need dark, you need light, right? You need one of each character. Well, let's put it this way. She is the prime ice carry at this point in time, right? And as I said, on her release, she will be the best character in the game. And when I mean the best, I mean the best because once you fully gear her, you have her functor, you have her sigils, she even heals herself and damage. She actually heals herself. So she can actually sustain herself. It, it's just, her kit is just absolutely atrocious, right? You can see there's nothing really special about my rolls. They're pretty okay. Nothing really special, but she does incredible damage. She self sustain on heals, right? She freezes. And like I mentioned in the first half, zero time she's a melee character with zero time and you actually can activate your zero time with her at your discretion that means if you normal attack like twice and then dodge she will just activate zero time straight off the bat this allows you to be extremely exploitative to bosses just another thing to keep in mind so now, hopefully, you understand why I say elephants in the room. These characters are extremely close to Ying Zhou, right? And if you do not need to fill a slot with Ying Zhou, you do not have the role because you might be just a packer like me, or you might be a free-to-play player, or you're new to the game, and I talked about if you're completely new to the game and you need to roll for someone, then you probably want to roll for Jin Wu because she is way and far above, right? Jing Shou when it comes to damage and ease of play. But yeah, these two are the elephants in the room. If you are going to roll for Jing Shou, you know, maybe if you were going to get her to double S or whatever, you might want to just keep her at just S and save up those rolls because you really want these two. They are a significant, an important turning point in the game. And that is just something you should keep in mind at this point. This is a very important point. You honestly do not want to miss out on Izanami. That's something and if you're gonna get izanami you really want to get mitsuha because currently she's the only character that she changed with she changed with and with just the two of those which are even at base and they're, if they're built right just the two of them can pretty much clear anything in the game obviously we do need more than one teams to clear the hardest content such as perilous chasm but once again, they will help with that ex in extreme, extreme potency. But anyway, that's all I have to say. I will see you guys in another one.